Hi everyone, this is Ada. Welcome back to my channel. I thought today I would do a video on my pouches and my small handbags that aren't designer. I admit I have a handbag pouch addiction. Um, I also believe that you don't necessarily have to buy designer even though I have designer handbags. I'm a handbag addict. I still like to buy um, other you know brands or labels that aren't worth a lot of money because I honestly believe to put an outfit together should be more on you know how what you buy whether it's inexpensive or expensive and how you put it together and that becomes part of your style so I'm going to go through these quickly I was actually going through and um, you know weeding a few out that um, I'm going to donate back to Vinnie's or Lifeline so I thought I'd just show you why I'm doing this so I have to go fairly quickly because I do have a lot as you would realize but um, I don't know I think I had this on one of my thrifted videos recently so this is my newest little purchase she was all of maybe $30, $40 and she is a beaded number and I just adore her oh where are we gonna put them I have my two babies here hi Belle so let's just put them on the floor um, this one is a witchery one that I've had I think it's always um, good to have something in your collection that you can just throw around and wipe over so it does have a longer strap this one I bought for a wedding um, this one is just a Gregory Lander which is another cheaper inexpensive label this one I'm sort of addicted to um, straw or you know these sort of bags because I do live in a subtropical climate and there's times that I really do not want to take good bags and I just like the shape of this this was from Witchery once again has a big strap this one I got at the thrift store this is I think Laura Ashley so I just like rattan it just I don't know just me and rattan we love each other so that one um, this one I bought years ago in New York from it was just from Nine West not very expensive but um, I'll never get rid of this because it just brings back memories of New York and it's just good to take in summer with a white dress or you know just summer with something and you don't have to worry about it this one was another inexpensive one where did I get this one don't know it's not really a label but um, once again summer lunchtime throw it on the table don't have to worry too much this one was back um, years ago when I worked at Witchery, so a bit of animal print. I did get rid of uh, some cheap animal print ones, but I did keep this. It's got a long strap as well in my collection because of the sort of hard case, and you can never go wrong with a bit of animal print, especially at night time. This one was another Witchery one. Um, this one will always stay in my collection because this was the one that I got just before I started at Witchery and has a lot of memories for me and I remember thinking this was so much money at the time so we're probably talking about 10 years ago I don't know years ago but um this one I just love and I did use this for a big wallet at one stage in my bigger bag so I love her this one was bought quickly I think this is another nine west one this went um, with an outfit I had for a wedding and this is just like the the blue denim it just goes with now a casual outfit so I'll keep that and probably till it falls apart um, this one is one that I love even though it's not perfect it's sort of got the leather sticking up there but I sort of love that about it I thrifted this it was ten dollars um, so this part is leather and it's sort of got a, a material um, under here if you have a look it's sort of like a canvas so I just love that because it's just I like things that are not too perfect as well even in my home wear so I sort of like um, that sort of look as well so this one this is the cage bag which I had to get this I've had probably two years but I had to get this because I always wanted one as a teenager so these have been reintroduced the ones that I saw as a teenager was that pine color um, so when I saw this in white I think it was about $80 I'm like yes I have to have it and I'll probably always keep this too because it just brings back memories and I think for me having a handbag collection or you know even designer collection it's all about the memories it's all about the emotional connection that I have with um, my pieces in in fashion so let's go this one has a lot of memory this was um, let me see was this Puerto Rico or Costa Rica anyway it was one of those and this is a label they have and it's all hand stitched basically so I always tuck in this um, tassel because I find the tassel 
I don't usually like the yellow with the um, orange, but this one I'll keep too um, because it just has this beautiful memory. You know, summer in Costa Rica, Puerto Rica, and um, going and having some drinks at the bar and just a holiday that was bright and, and nice. So that one. This one I think I've talked about before. This was a thrift buy, so it's the American um, it's a Gold Crest um, label. So that one I've only taken to a wedding once. I've only used it once, but that doesn't matter. This one I've used heaps, and this one is a store. I've had her in another video. I love her. She's Italian leather. She also has a strap. So that will always be in my collection. This one is Spencer and Rutherford. I've had her for years, but I still can't get rid of her. Spencer and Rutherford, for people that don't know, is an Australian handbag design company that um, is in Melbourne. They used to have a store. I think they're online now. And um, they have numbers in the bag, and they, they sort of make their own bags. So no two bags are the same. They will produce... Let me see. How many of these did they produce? This one is 85 or 200 so only 200 of these produced and then they sort of go and produce this bag again but in different colors and materials so that and this i got in spain a bit of you know cow got a bit of cow in your in your collection um so this has a strap as well um it has two straps it has this little strap and it has a longer strap and um this one i got in spain when we we're staying at um where we we're staying there was a little gift shop so i got her this one was a present. Oh, this was a present from my my beautiful Kelly. I think she gave me a gift voucher, so I got that. That is just, I think, an Australian label as well, but not a very expensive label. Not too sure. Anyway, does it have it? Yeah, anyway, I'm not too sure. This one I got at the thrift store because I was after something to go with a black dress. So just a beaded number. Cost all of five to ten dollars, but I still love it because you can use her both sides. This one never used, just from Strand Bags, cheap, inexpensive, but I was drawn to the colour. And I may have done an outfit, used it for an outfit, a white outfit, but I really haven't used it much at all. It has a long strap too, but I'm going to keep her because this is just my happy colour. Next one is a little one. I think I've talked about this too before. I got this at um, a clothes swap party. For people that don't know, I used to um, have a few clothes swap parties where you'd have champagne and some nibblies, cheese and everything, and you'd bring your fashion items along that you were sick of, and you would just swap them with someone. And I got this, and I adore her vintage little bag. Only a few more to go. <laughs> and this one I love. This one I bought um, probably last year. This is made from the inside of a truck tire. So I need to clean her. I have to actually buy some um, tire cleaner to actually clean this. I just think it's interesting. Once again, not designer. It's someone that's come up with, you know, using products again and making, you know, fashion items. So I think that's a really special piece as well. Um, the last two, um, this one I think I won when I won Fashions on the Field in Melbourne in one of the marquees and I think this was in the um, goodie bag that I won. So uh, Stitch and Hide, I think maybe another Australian label. And my last one is this weird one which is just made out of um, all labels of, you know, food. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, any noise I hear, they're always going. So that is my, what do you call it, clutch small bag collection. And um, I'm just going to go through and resort them back in where I store them and just put them back nicely. So I thought I'd do the video. But don't forget, everyone, Ada Love Style. I'll see you again next time. Bye. If you like this video, please subscribe, push like, and follow me on Instagram. And don't forget, everyone, Ada Love Style. I'll see you again next time. Bye.